Okay, so today we're gonna do Black Eyed Peas. Uh, these are the fresh from HEB, 12 ounces in a package, takes two hours to cook. You need about four cups of liquid. You can season it however you want. Uh, what I do is I cut up my mirepoix. I like to leave it in chunkier pieces so that way it remains to have some texture whenever it's time to eat. It takes two hours, like I said, so. Uh, you want, want them thicker, bigger pieces if you want any texture left in them. Uh, instead of using ham or bacon, I'm using smoked country sausage, about a quarter pound of it. I'm gonna throw it in first and just let it saute for a second. I did two carrots. They're both about medium sizes, split them in half and then cut them into the little chunks here. Uh, two celery stalks, and about a half of a red onion. I did the onion in smaller pieces, wanted it to, to have, be more tender and use it more so for the flavor, flavoring the, the black eyed peas themselves. Uh, also two tablespoons of pre-minced uh, garlic in a squeeze tube. This, this is just simple and easy. So these have uh, sauteed a little bit in a couple of tablespoons of butter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the mirepoix and garlic. Let that a little stir. Let those get coated, let that garlic start to release into the, the butter that was in there with the sausage. Black eyed peas. And I use half beef stock and half water. And there was about two cups of beef stock left in here. I went ahead and filled it the rest of the way up with, with water. I'll also put some of my homemade tomato sauce. This is, is more so a sauce for marinara. So it's got a little bit of garlic, basil, rosemary, thyme and onion is all in this and i'll just use maybe a quarter cup of it just to add that extra body and depth that touch of uh tomato uh it'll be real nice in there all right that's starting to smell real aromatic getting those onions and garlic going I'm gonna go ahead and add black eyed peas Pour in the beef stock and water. And then a quarter cup of the tomato sauce. V8 is a really good option for this as well. There you go. And that should give it all the body you need. Uh, next is just salt and pepper. I don't get too crazy with this. All the vegetables and the tomato sauce, beef stock, it all has so much flavor. It's, it's just gonna marry real nice. You don't have to do anything else. If you like spice, then go ahead and, you know, put a whole jalapeno in there, put some cayenne in there. And uh, I wouldn't salt too heavily initially. Uh, bring this to a boil, see where the flavor is once everything has had the chance to, to blend together a little bit. The black eyed peas will absorb the, the juice and the salt and everything. So you wanna get your seasoning correct uh, within the first 15, 20 minutes, just so that way all of that gets to absorb into the black eyed peas. And that's it, bring it to a boil uh, then reduce it down to a simmer and cover with the lid. Let it go for two hours. Every 15, 20 minutes, come in and stir it. You don't want anything sticking to the bottom. Uh, whenever you stir it, taste your seasoning. See if it's where you want it to be. If you want it spicier, if you want it more bold, if you want it, you know, whatever. Just make your adjustments as you go. You got two hours to make the perfect product here. So don't, don't do too much up front because it could damage your end product. But that's it. Simple, easy, black-eyed piece. 
Hope y'all enjoy. All right, so it's been a little over two hours. I've been stirring every 15 to 20 minutes, just letting it simmer. This is what your product will look like. Your broth is thickened up. The carrots and onions, everything has gotten tender, as you can see there. Now it's just time to give it a taste. You can add more seasoning at this point. It's just going to flavor the broth. It will not add any new flavor to your black eyed peas. But uh, mm, that's good right there. I hope you all enjoy it. This is one of our favorite ways to have black eyed peas. Uh, use your favorite cornmeal, cornbread recipe to pair with it or eat it with crackers or just like this as a soup.